Good morning this Tuesday, the 2nd of November. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst at Bell Direct. It's great to have your company. Yesterday, the ASX 200 started the month of November with an advance of 0.6%, supported by a busy session of merger and acquisition activity. All sectors of the market gained ground, except for the financial sector, which fell 0.48%. This was off the back of Westpac's disappointing 2021 financial year results, which fell short of expectations and revealed cost pressures for the business. And up on the screen now, you can see Bell Direct's market map, which is a simple tool that gives you a visual representation of how the entire market is performing, or a particular sector in this instance. The brighter and more vibrant the green or red colour, the greater the gain or drop. There you can see Westpac in bright red taking a 7.4% hit yesterday, much greater than its counterparts. And moving to the top and bottom performers of the ASX 200, Orocobre was on top of the leaderboard. The lithium producer's share price climbed 5.8% in line with the sector rallying yesterday. And for the worst performers, no surprises there with Westpac at the bottom. ResMed shares also saw some selling, down 4.9%, after releasing its quarter one financial year 2022 earnings. Now looking to the US, the Dow, S&P 500 and NASDAQ all closed at record highs to start the month of November. The small cap benchmark, that's the Russell 2000, rallied 2.6%, its best day since late August. US investors will be keeping an eye on the next wave of earnings reports set to be handed out this week. Stockwise, Tesla continued its rally from last week, closing 8.5% higher on Monday. Stocks linked to the economic recovery performed well, including Ford, airlines and retailers, while mega cap tech stocks underperformed. Now looking to the day ahead, after a positive session on Wall Street, the futures as at 7.40am Australian Eastern Daylight Time are suggesting the Aussie share market will open 0.18% higher this morning. In terms of economic news, the manufacturing PMI for October was released yesterday. That's the Purchasing Managers Index. The PMI in October was revised to 58.2, which marked the strongest expansion in factory activity in four months. And as a reminder, given the reading came in at above 50 points, that indicates an expansion of the manufacturing sector compared to the previous month. Today, the Reserve Bank of Australia, the RBA, meets at 2.30pm to discuss the cash rate, while it's expected that, central bank, that the central bank will keep rates on hold at the current historical low of 0.1%, it's also expected that the RBA will signal the end of quantitative easing, scrap its yield target framework and could bring forward its rate hike guidance. Today, continue to keep an eye on travel stocks after international travel resumed yesterday in Australia for the first time in 600 days. Travel stocks posted solid gains yesterday. Qantas QAN was up 3% and Flight Centre was up 2%. Lastly, Brickworks BKW is set to go ex-dividend today. Now moving to commodities, oil prices rose sharply on strong demand outlook despite China fuel reserves releasing and the gold price also rose as the dollar eased. Now to end on some trading ideas for your consideration, Bell Potter has reiterated its buy recommendation on iron ore company Fortescue Metals, FMG is its ticker code, with a revised price target of $19.75. FMG achieved record shipments in the September 2021 quarter, which were in line with Bell Potter's forecasts and right in the middle of FMG's financial year 2022 production guidance run rate. In Bell Potter's view, strong free cash flows, good cost control and an on-track production performance emphasise the quality of the FMG business. Now, FMG is currently down nearly 39% year-to-date and closed 2.9% higher yesterday to $14.33, which implies 37.8% share price growth. To end, bullish charting signals have been identified in AVZ Minerals, AVZ, Hazer Group, HZR, and Seek, SEK. And that's according to Trading Central. And that's it for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Stay safe, have a great day, and happy trading.